my name is professor rahul purwar and i am associated with department of bioscience and bioengineering here at iit bombay and my laboratory works mainly on cancer immunotherapy and the inflammation of biology especially focusing on the t cell so we are working on this car t cell technology and car t cell technology is, is basically a combination of cell therapy and gene therapy it mainly the engineering of the, our own immune cells or the patient's immune cells to fight against cancer so what we do that we collect the patient's immune cells and genetically engineer them in the laboratory and we infuse them back to the patient and once these cells are genetically engineered cells are infused back into the patients they kill the cancer cell so this is basic the car t cell platform right now what we have developed and this car t cell platform has been like tested clinically in multiple clinical trials in abroad especially in western country united states or europe and there they have seen remarkable results especially for hematological cancer especially for blood cancer and within the blood cancer they have mainly seen this effect on the cd19 positive b a l l a b cell cancer and here in india we also have developed this uh, car t cell technology in the laboratory for b a l l individuals so the motivation main motivation behind this project was when i came back uh, to india and set up my own lab was that car t cell technology developed by western world it's extremely expensive though it's an excellent technology that works in long term remission of cancer patient but it extremely expensive cost was almost half a million us dollar per patient that comes to around 3 crore rupees per patient and majority of our patients can't afford this technology if we import it from abroad that was the major motivation that if we develop indigenous technology it would be cost effective and affordable and that was the motivation behind developing the technology indigenously there were so many technological challenges especially the infrastructure and training of the staff and both of these tech challenges were huge because when we this technology actually requires a, a state of the art infrastructure and in the beginning we did not have it so in last 4 years step by step we built the infrastructure so we can develop this platform plus here we did not have a staff or students who were trained in in this type of work so training the staff training the right people developing the infrastructure was a huge challenge but finally we have some infrastructure and few of our trained students who basically made it possible uh, that we have now a car t cell technology which is working regarding timeline of the project is a very difficult question because see we have developed this technology or this platform car t cell platform at the laboratory scale and now we have even patented it we filed two patents for two products and the process now going from the laboratory scale to the clinical level this translation of the technology is a huge task and is a difficult task and there are many reasons to it one major reason is that infrastructure at the clinical sites in india such type of clinical trial never happened so this would be first in human clinical trial with the genetically engineered product and because nobody has experience we need to gain the clinical experience but good news is that we have established collaboration with national cancer institute in us where our mou says that we can get clinical training at nci in us so our clinical collaborator will be going there and getting the right skill set for the clinical work similarly we also have established a good collaboration to develop the infrastructure state of the art infrastructure for clinical work for gmp type of work and soon you may see my office will be converted into the gmp lab
so what collaboration helped me was mainly the clinical collaboration because when i came back i never thought i am going to work on car t cell therapy because it's very expensive in india mainly or many times we take up the project which are low cost designs however this technology is extremely expensive so it's very difficult to convince people that you want to develop a technology which costs half a million us dollar per patient right so in this regard what we have done so we met this professor at tata memorial center tmc dr gaurav narula he was very keen of bringing this technology to india because every year he sees at least 500 kids 400 to 500 kids who develop this disease and there's no treatment to it so ultimately these parents of these kids are told to go home and they have to watch their kid die and which is extremely depressing right so we thought even if it is expensive thing it works if we bring this technology develop it indigenously we may have a huge impact on the society and that was the motivation and this collaboration this gave me strength to take up this project because uh, when i was trained i was working on t cell therapy but in india my, my ideas were different but after meeting this person understanding the impact in the society it can make we decided to take up this project we are in hurry we want to make it work as soon as possible we can't wait for long because every technology has certain lifetime so we want that within one year one and half year we can at least start a clinical trial but realistically maybe it can take one to two years because one of the major hurdle is getting a gene delivery vehicle which in this case is a lentiviral particle getting the gmp grade clinical uh, gmp grade these lentiviral particle is a huge hurdle because that cost around 1.2 million us dollar for 30 to 40 patients and so getting that level of funding getting the infrastructure for the t cell manufacturing these are huge hurdles and we are having many hopes because we are talking to many people hopefully those hurdles will be um, away for soon and then we can start our clinical trial